Hey guys, it's King Rebel here coming to you guys with another video. So I was just on the on the internet and I just saw that Krishan was high she was on live and police or the sheriff came to Blue's door and they were knocking and she was like, Don't tell him I'm here, don't have him here and he the dad was like shh and then she was running running to go hide and the dad was over there telling her, I don't know why they're here. We didn't ask for nothing, we didn't call them. They they come when you call them and we didn't call them and we don't need them, they could go away. So she's like, oh, I gotta find a plan or something. So they're assuming she said the dad said it might be the white boy that lives across the street but why would they call police if nothing is happening you know what i'm saying why would you call police if nothing is going on i live in a gated hoa community when we see police it's either because something has happened or they call 911 and they had police in fire in fire truck so i don't understand the, the the reason for the dad saying oh don't go nowhere don't go nowhere you ain't got to go nowhere fucking where um we didn't call them then she said then she turned around and said oh it's a t page leaking his address and because they think something is wrong with junior and she's not going to leave her son so which one is it is it the neighbor that called the police is it the warrants or is it the T-Page that's calling the police? Because Krishan seemed like she doesn't know what's going on. And then she went on to say, instead of you guys calling the police, why don't you send stuff for Junior? Why would people send stuff for Junior if you're rich? Why would people send stuff for Junior if you're, the dad is rich and you're rich? Why would people send stuff for Junior? So what is the real reason that Krishan is um, at Blueface House? Is she because she's hiding from warrants? Because it seems like she's hiding from her warrants. Or she don't want to talk to the police because she has warrants. But if you're rich, hear me out. Hear me out. If you're rich and you got a lawyer, why don't you let your lawyer sort out your warrants? Why, how long are you going to run from a warrants for? Is this the reason why she's not doing show? Because she doesn't want the sheriff to pull up on her, to pull her warrants? Is this the reason why she's not doing no more... Um, meeting where you talking about, oh, she's locked down because Blue's locked down. Is she not doing shows because of the warrants and she doesn't want them to pull up on her and take her away? Because that's what it's giving. It's not giving she's doing locked down because Blue's locked down. That does not seem like the real answer at all. It seems like this girl still is lying. It seems like she knows that there's active warrants out for her and she's hiding out. And she probably told him or told the dad she's hiding out at his house because she doesn't want to get caught up. It seems like she's not driving because she doesn't want to get stopped. Somebody was like, oh, she's always getting driven. No, she was racing with K Suave. She was in her car with PD. She's been in the car that she rented or leased. I don't know which one because she doesn't have the cars anymore. She's always in an Uber. Or why is she not driving Blueface car? The other day she posted that, oh, when she was on live, she was like, thank you, Blueface dad, for um, giving her breaks at the baby. There's been saying that, and the sad part is, Jaden has not said a lot of things, but her friend has implied stuff where she was like, if y'all would know how much some people leave their baby and go. And I believe she leaves that baby and go about her business. I believe that very well. But what happened to the $1,000 she's paying Marsh? The $1,000 she's paying Marsh to babysit an hour. Since you guys believe everything she says. And where is her island that she's buying? The island she's buying, the restaurant for Tessa. In I think her sister video, she was shooting her sister video and paying for her sister video. So that is yet. She said she will release that when she released, when she released her gender reveal, which in Chastity seemed like she lies too because she was talking about oh she knew what the baby sex was and it seemed like it was barely a month. I don't know because she was on. She has a GoFundMe and she has a Cash App. So I don't know where the story begins, where the truth begins, and where the lie ends. So I'm saying all that to say, Krishan, if you have all this money and your friends is going to say, oh, she loved the haters. Krishan shouldn't love the haters, babe. She should not love the haters. She's supposed to love her son. She's supposed to love herself. She's supposed to love her freedom and get her warrants cleared up. She's supposed to love her money to pay her lawyer to clear that up. She's supposed to love her child. Love herself. Get business taken care of. Stand on business. Because the truth of the matter is, why is she really there? Is she there because he told her to stay there? Is she there because she's hiding from the um from the warrants? Because she's going by two different stories. She's like, oh, people are sent um doxing her address. Then she's saying, then they're saying it's the white boy across the street. Well, if the boy boy across the street, why would somebody call for you? And to tell you how much that don't make sense to me, I've had parties at my house at least three, four times a year. My birthday, my husband's birthday, my kids have um, Friendsgiving, and we have 
I have an in-house DJ because my husband also DJ. And like I told you guys, um, he's from Jamaica. So we have enough speakers to make the block loud. We've had police call once. And all it was was because I guess somebody called because we had the noise loud after two, three, I believe. And they were like, oh, could you guys just turn it down? They didn't even tell us anything. They just said turn it down. So why would somebody call police if there's no activities to call them for? That doesn't make any sense. And the father seemed like he's a stupid, stupid too. I mean, Carlissa is not too bright, but the dad seemed like he's stupid too. Y'all are assuming why doesn't he go to the door and find out what they want? Christian, I'm talking about, did they bring somebody to search your house? Did they bring somebody to search your house? Like, girl, get your affairs in order. You have a child, a young child. Then she was beaten up on the phone, talking about people are talking about her son, but never once said they're lying. And I want you to listen because I had the audio. She never once said they're lying about what's wrong with him. She's just saying, oh, I don't get up, wake up with violence. No, I don't fight anymore. Hitting her phone, talking about, I'm just imagining it's your face. Look, girl, are you all right? And between that time, I think the, the sheriff came to the door. And like I said, I live in California. Why are they coming to the door? What did the guy call for? What did they call for? She's talking about, oh, I got to figure out something out. Because now I think she can't squat over there no more. So she's going to, because if they keep calling on her, eventually they're going to run up on her. If that's the story or if that's the story she wants people to believe. Because they cannot not, they're going to keep going and going and going and eventually they're going to run up on them. Because one of these days they're going to get up on them if that's the case. So why are you, Miss Rich, why are you running from her warrants? Get your lawyer on it. Get your lawyer to set up something, clear up something. Why are you running from all this stuff? That's why she was on the internet yeah, um, dogging Lemmy and talking about, oh, I want 200K for the um, reunion. And that's why I said if she thinks that's what she's worth, that's what she's worth. But she's, I think she's going low on funds. I really think she's going low on funds. And she's, and people are thinking she's there to pay blue face bills. I don't think that's what's happening. I think WAC has a financial person set in place where blue face bills is concerned. I don't think she's paying his bills. What bills? How is she going to pay him when she has to pay her bills at her house that you guys say she still have? Because she will have light water, gas. She'll probably have to buy food over there, right? Unless Marsh is buying food. But what job does Marsh do? What job does Marsh do? I know, I think, I believe Jay don't live over there. They said Joey Bean have her own place. Because the story on the curb is the place was rented in Jay's name because Krishan couldn't rent the place. But she was popping her shit, talking about, oh, I put 165000 for a year, and it's going to go towards me buying the place, and all that. And she wanted, she went, she heard you all talking about her saying she bought the house. Why should she rent the house? Clarissa even said she didn't own it, she rented it. But people are over there saying, she, that's not what she said. Yes, that's what she said. She said she bought the house. Then when they found out she didn't buy the house, then she was like, I didn't buy it. I paid for a year to rent the owner and some of the money is going to go to my ownership. And then it became, oh, blue broke the pace and I'm not going to move it. She tells so many stories. Again, a liar has no memory. That girl will never keep up on her lies because she can't. That's not who she is. She cannot keep up on her lies. And the sad part of it, she knows you guys believe her because she knows that people be like, oh, I want to be like her when I grow up. Girl, I don't want to be like nobody but me. You hear me? I used to tell my kids when I die. Let me come back as me. Nobody else. Because the life she's living is not even worth it. You have all this money and all this stuff, but you can't enjoy it because you're hiding from the law. Because you want to be act like you're untouchable. Because you want to fight people and start stuff. Because you over there thinking, you, what your sister said? Oh, if you could give an order to touch, they need to be touched. So you could sort of kept the order. Like your sister acting like you're scar face, like the law. You're like your family name is not wrenched through the court like no other. Like no other. Their family name is Wrench to the court. I was looking at Petey's IG as well. Petey cleaned his IG up. He cleared it up. He only has two, picture, two pictures on there. And I guess D1 is out the door for him. D1 athlete is gone. So there goes his future unless he get into something else. You have Chastity over there arguing with her on a live baby's father's family. Again, I did a video on her. Why doesn't she focus on her pregnancy and have a healthy baby instead of arguing with people about who he loved and who he didn't love? That was still his family. His family probably didn't encourage him with the bullshit, but she did. His family didn't probably encourage him to do what he was doing, what, that he ended up doing to her, that she was laughing, talking about, did you guys remember when I was singing the song and he, he boop booped me on live? Maybe his family was not a part of that. They didn't want to encourage trauma with that foolishness. And when, in FYI, before I get out of here, 
why the hell would you guys think that the name like a blue face, not a blue face, a blue face means money, but trauma, um, killer this and shotgun that. Why do you think these names do not have meaning? Like when people put names on there and put his, Chastity's baby's father name is crime trauma, crime infested trauma. Don't you think that the name that you give yourself has a lot of meaning? And I'll just, and I'll segue into why my name is King Rebel. So when I was in nursing school, I got the name King. I got the name King in nursing school. When I used to be with my husband, when he was DJing, when I used to help him, DJ, when he DJed, they used to call me Rebel. So that's why the two names goes together. They're kind of fused together for my name on YouTube. But at the same time, I don't understand. So when people, so to explain, when people see me outside when I'm dressed, not in the scrubs, not in all that, when they see me outside, it'll be like, hey, rebel. In school, it was king. So my name has a meaning for something. It has a meaning for something. It's not nothing that is like crime and shoot, bang, bang this and king, king killer this. And no, you have to put positive. You have to speak positive. Positive, oh, positivity into your life and into your kids and into everything around you. They just seem like they're so toxic, like toxic, fulfill the whole family. Like somebody said, they put the funk in dysfunction, and they do. They do. But we'll see how this turns out. I just wanted to let you guys know, she's on it again. We I, 2024 is going to be a revealing year. She's going she's gonna to have to come with it. She's going to have to have a better plan. Because she said in the live, oh, I got to figure out something. She has to figure out something. Hiding a blue face is not going to cut it. Hiding a blue face is not going to cut it. And whether it's the neighbors calling or the YouTube or whoever is doxing his address, she needs to get to that. She needs to take her rich ass to her lawyer, pay for him to figure out what's going on and how she could solve that out or sort that out. That's what she needs to do. Sound down in the comment. Let me know. Sound off in the comment. Let me know how you think. Let me know what you think is going on. Be respectful and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace. They keep mentioning my motherfucking son out their motherfucking mouth. Mm, let me put them there real quick. Mm. 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 Yeah, what's up with you, bitch? What's up? What? Why, why keep mentioning my motherfucking son? I don't want to fight no more, bitch. What's up? Huh? Oh, now handle that bl bloody nose, bitch. Sometimes I don't even wake up and choose violence no more, but yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Oh, everybody that keep mentioning my, uh, oh, that didn't hurt, bitch, that didn't hurt. I swear to God, I just cracked the screen. But I'm just imagining it. It's your face. You got here, nigga. You say you don't have that. You got to lower it. What? I'm serious. All right, I'm about to get off live. And they bring somebody to search the house, huh? I don't know what the fuck. Huh? Look, <laughs> the pops say, hey, like. <laughs> Why the fuck is this cop at the door? You think so? Fuck yeah. I'm gonna go up the side gate, like what? Fuck you here for? I got no warrants. I'm finna leave, like bro. The door, we don't want that. Huh? I feel like yelling out the door, we don't want that. We didn't call y'all, so I got y'all to leave. Uh, or just let them knock. No, I'm saying we don't need we don't need y'all. Right. They only come when they need it, you know? What I mean? Right. We don't need y'all just come knocking at the door anytime y'all fucking feel like it. Right. Just because a white boy is calling y'all, fuck you. It's that neighbor. Huh? It's that weird neighbor. I know, trust me, he's probably doing something, right? said the sheriff is what? Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck no, bro. Wow.
It's just like, what's going on? What they want to do to me? And they come around the side and look at the back. They, they do that? No, they better go right here. Oh, fuck, no. Look, I, I'm going to go. I'm going to. Shit. Let me get up off of here. I got a plan real quick. All right. I go live and get. There's this, uh, we're going to this fan page. They keep leaking the address and keep calling the cops. I don't know why. My baby's fine. He's great. Um, but they don't want me. I'm cool. I ain't leaving my son. But, um, so basically, look, yo, so I found out a little bit. I, I educated myself a little bit. So basically, um, not like that, but wasn't Jesus up over there? Like, where all that stuff is happening? So I'm going to agree with the lot that knows. And everybody that reached out to me, um... Uh, I did not know me sharing my emotions about um, grief or what I see. You know, me being transparent and, like, human. You guys uh, love that part of me. I say yes, yes. Okay, I have a theory. Okay.